Mystic. Sure. Fair enough. You. And Astralis are currently ranked number four in the world. I would struggle to put them in my top ten. Big words and big kills required here. As we get into it, pistol round. All Zerk patrolling down towards lower, but Glaive is waiting with the aforementioned dual pistols. A chance, but one that won't be realized. It's quite ugly in the end, and two kills are found for complexity. Glaive and Config go down, five on three. Still plenty of utility, flashes, smokes, Molotovs, and uh, a two-man advantage. Zipex will do a little bit of damage, scratches the toes of the opposition, and he's falling back towards the bomb site. Two of them waiting in there. Blame and Zipex have it all to play for. All right, well, Blame back. Wow, he might have to do a lot here. Zip's going to get run on down, or he should do eventually. He's thwarted, and Floppy comes out for the final kill. So, finally the last man to fall for Astralis. They're a great start for Complexity. Now, let's see if they can keep it clean. Will there be an Astralis response with a Force Bite of their own? No purchases coming through just yet from the Danes, but when you get those first two kills coming... Oh, the headset's unplugged. Come on now, TC. That's... Come on, mate. Big grin on his face, of course. When you're finding these uh, these two kills early, right at that point, JT's thinking, oh, we can finish anyway. Yep. Which bomb site? What, what, what's the we solution do well to looking lose for? But uh, full eco on the cards, or in the cards, depending on where you're from, I suppose. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole uh, again. We've, we've been down that rabbit hole <laughs> once before. Be careful. Shout out Which to Doug. Uh, good job from Floppy here. Very controlled. Very calm. They shouldn't give up much at all here. Just the Desert Eagle of Blame have to deal with. That's towards middle, but uh, they'll find him. Well, people will find his third kill up the round, and it's not the cleanest from Grim. We'll be punished for it, but uh, they can recover that weapon. No problem. I'll grade one of the Galils. Yeah, not uh, going to be the Royal Flush there, but uh, we're moving our way into the first weapon round. He's always everybody. smiling. TC's always got the He's biggest smile so on his fun. face. I've never seen anything like it. I love him. It's great. He's living his dream every day, and so is Farley. Glass Cannon Orp. An Orp is paradise right now, as Halzerk will have the scout on the other he side. He had exactly enough cash to purchase that. Nothing else. He had it on the nose. So uh, what will come of this? Time will tell. I guess he has an advantage in the sense that Halzerk only has the scout, but I say only. He did remarkable things with that weapon. Very oh, true. A key clutch when you think about yeah. it. Considering how it finished in overtime, that's uh, definitely one of the more impactful rounds. We've seen this CD setup really becoming more and more popular here. Yeah, it was you're right. Done on Dust2 a little bit earlier today when you caught the mouse game, if you were with us back then all those hours ago. Seen it out of G2. I think FaZe were running something similar here. And the fact that the way this default works, I think Lawn just did a nice little breakdown. If you want to go and check out his YouTube channel, it might even be on his Twitter there. They know that the timing of when this default is taken. So somebody like Blame F can activate late. Look for multiple fights. He will only get one and done. The job still completed here. Some issues yeah. for complexity when they're down a man. A uh, hinge smoke was everything. Isolated the player who was pushed up and Zipex, he's taken a face full of flash, somehow gets a kill there as well. He'll take that all day long considering as to what his position was. And Farlek, as you mentioned, doesn't have armor. He manages to get his first kill. Three versus two, 45 seconds remaining. Can he find another? Do they want to cross here? Do they want to force the issue? The flashbang suggests they probably will. They know they've gained some sort of access here, but oh, hails it. That's Fang going down. Three versus one now. Great Beautiful. stuff. Yeah, really well played from Farley. That's what you want from your Orpa. Yep. That's exactly what you want. More of that, Farley. Yes, please. That is Go. great work here. So I think this will have stifled complexity as far as a full buy goes for everybody in there server. Floppy can buy. Halzerk and JT can also invest. They can drop some guns across and make this as competitive possible. But the fact that Blame gets one and Zip gets one in those circumstances are great. And then uh, Farley could just line them up, put them on the tee, bit of softball here. Knock them out of the park. I don't know how the rules really work, but it could be a foul ball. Yeah, it could be. But uh, it wasn't. That was clean as you like. As we get into round number four, there is a buy available. They've only got three rifles, and to be fair, once again, that Warzerk scout will be brought out. Fang with just a Desert Eagle, but uh, a much faster approach. They've been granted short control, and Glaive will hold towards Goose, gets himself a flashbang out, setting up for his teammate Blame F, will be spotting from the A ramp. But uh, they might not finish up there. They're going to see what's available to them in middle. Floppy looking confident with JT here. Smoke down, Molotov to flush anyone out on the right-hand side. Flashbang's going in as well. Config might be ready to challenge this one. Would need a flashbang from a teammate to swing on the corner. I don't think he will. Oh, he fancies it, Chad. Definitely not the right move. And this is the issue now. The AWP, it's been tasked with holding the B bomb site, And that's just going to be Farley. One AWP, one man. 
And five members of Complexity charging his way. JT has made the call. They don't have another smoke for this mid to be cross here, so it will subside at some point. They have to come in through the upper tunnels, and which way is Farley looking? Currently, the wrong way. Farley, you poor lad. You've got the kill towards JT, but you need many more. He's found the second. There's a that chance now. All things considered, the situation he was in, they can't be too mad of that outcome. No smoke to block the doors, and they're taking advantage of this. Bang and floppy, though. Decimate their opponents. Glaive and Zipex removed, and now just blame F, who has got the kip, and HE grenade as well, but I dare say this one, call it done, because uh, unless he finds a very early kill, there's no chance he can break in towards his B side. Trying to recover the orb, maybe. I wouldn't mind that. He's going to have a look at Lee, so up close towards the doors, it... They're going to get scooped up by Halzak here, who he would love to get in his hands, and he will take it. Snatched, barrel spotted, head gone, floppy. With a nice little peek out there. Good awareness, 3-1, to one. Blaine loses it all. And so do Astralis here. After a good round from Farley on the AWP, they're straight back into the... You know, the 7-1 star is pretty much there. On a map a like this, we'll play for. He'll be making his way out, and unfortunately, he might be removed from the zone quite early, but... Uh, stopped. <laughs> that's been stopped Flop officially. Stopped. Nice work from Holzerk, though. That's going to be a 4-4. Four and four. As mentioned, though, they've only got the pistols. You can assume the B-bomb site will be spread thin, to say the very least. Just one player there. Three here, mate. Watch this. Come on, now. It will be a clean procedure. That's the round over, but it's still there. Recover one. AK-47 for Glaive. Save that for the next round, for sure. Maybe you can get one more rifle like this. I say maybe with uh, low confidence. How many overtimes in this one? Uh, I reckon zero. I think Complexity will take this in regulation. It's going to be 16-14. There's no yeah. way this game... Th this game is going to be a close game. All right. Both of I these like teams it. doing their best to sabotage their own success. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll see which one is able to get across the line first. The race to the bottom, some could say. We'll see. I'm enjoying this from Complexity so far, though. This is uh, very clean. Only giving up one round and uh, bouncing right back. There's another kill from Orzak towards Zipex, but uh, it's Glaive who's got the rifle. He's currently positioned towards the pits. They won't be finding him. Blame F with just a P250. No real reason to hunt. Can't imagine there's a world where the AK is looking for exits at this point. So yeah, they must be saving towards the tunnels, but well held after Floppy went down at the start of the round. After calling, there was, what, three or four players there. They just walked in towards B, found the quick kill, and that's it. Bob's your uncle, round over. Round six coming up, and we will have the orb for Farlig once again. The most Ooh. insane replayers. Actually, just not a bad. Just a little cap. Just Fair a little enough. tiny cap Fair there. Enough. Fair enough. Take it back. I think one of the keys uh, here is how reactive complexity can be to some of this information. On Nuke, it's a bit harder because they can be up and down. And one of the things that Astralis was doing well against complexity on Inferno was over rotating on the CT side and always having the stack, right? So it's going to be hard for them to do that here. And again, Hal Zerk will be tasked with taking long. The smoke is going to land. The flash is going to obscure his vision for now, but we'll have to back off. Back to default proceedings here as they comb towards mid with the Xbox smoke. They currently have Floppy over towards the upper tunnels alongside of JT. And not much util has been lobbed out early from complexity here. So they really can make any decision they want. Yeah, not much at all. You don't really need much utility when you get that long spawn for your AWP player as well. Maybe one flash to set him up, but he had full control and it cost the CTs a lot of utility. But now starting to throw some grenades. Config will be pulled back over here, looking a little bit uncomfortable. They're expecting a full commitment off that with the smoke dropped on the bomb site. Not to be the case, though. They're actually focusing their efforts towards short. Floppy suspects danger towards middle, and be right in thinking so. Blame F is that, as uh, the execution looking quite likely at this point. They can still get back towards middle. Bear that in mind. Nice spam. Which the CT's back here. Just trying to remove any sort of map control they've currently garnered. Molotov down, a follow-up spray. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but certainly rattles the cage. Have enough for an air execute here. Could do a bridge smoke, a one-way smoke on top of the elevator boxes. They can get the incendiaries towards the site, over towards Goose, the ramp. There's plenty of flashes. So it's all going to come down to the defense right here on this site. It is Farley and Blame. A nice deep nade down the gullet is going to stifle Fang for now. But the boost over the top. So trying to enable their orper here. That'd be a tidy molly. I'm going to flash and get their way out. So really good movement here from Blame. Let's see what he can make of it. 20 seconds remains here. He is going to be tested here. The Flames not quite hitting his position, but the shots of the AWP are. First one lands to Farley, but uh, he'll need to find at least one more, I'd say. And there it is. Wild blind as well. Gets grim. Ten seconds. Man advantage for Astralis. They have to go for the plant here. And the flank to the CT spawn doesn't work out for them. An amazing clutch. Quiet here. And Floppy getting into that zone once again. Three on two.
Warzerg low, upgrades to the AK-47 for the close range combat, does a little bit of damage, and now can Floppy capitalize. He is a bit of a clutch master himself, but loses control of the spray. And there it is, the defuse for Astralis coming in, quite comfortable towards the ends. Okay, well, that one was tidy. And after that boost doesn't work, you, you mentioned the flames not spreading. I think the molly was misthrown. There was a smoke that was residual there as well that could have come out. It was just too little too late. They are going to be converting the second here. And Farley, again, when tested in this position on A, has passed with flying colors. So this is great for Farley. This is exactly what you need to see from your AWP. But just keep him here. Don't rotate yep. him around. Get the secondary out, AWP out if you want on config and allow him to roam a little bit more. But I think Farley over towards A is really, really showing his worth right here for the team. One more round to break them financially. And a nice Ooh. shot once again. Right through the gap, clips him through the door. 95 damage inflicted. Zipex gets a taste as well towards long. Good flashbang. Sends Waymeth packing. Well, push forward of the control they've been given here, knowing that the CTs are on the back foot. Grenades towards shore, just in case anyone's behind the stairs. I like this, though. They have Farley prying long. If it's a short execute again, the AWP is in the wrong position. Bombs in towards upper B, however. So it uh, could be a bit of a ruse. Now they've removed that vision towards long. And indeed, sure, they will be trying to make their presence known towards B, but they haven't taken the bait at all. Still a pretty standard setup here from Astralis. Two players in the B bomb site, Glaive at the back platform. Just so low from that early tag. How much is he going to be able to get done from here? One bullet, just one straight bullet. Doesn't even have to be a headshot. Or just a grenade thrown over the top. Fortunately, I don't think there are any HE, so he's got that covered at least. And this is a smoke with the double doors. Oh, that's a huge nade. Molly might be coming his way. He needs to hit some shots here. Config lost in the smoke. Needs a kill. Need to see him activate here. Glaive's got one. Now it's Config's turn. He's in the thick of things. They have a very good idea that something's awry. Glaive's found two on five HP, but they're still in. Yeah, that's not bad at all. 35 seconds and the timing doesn't work out for Floppy whatsoever. Looking towards Shaw, but it's the long flank that comes through. Man advantage and HP, it has to be said. For Astralis, they'll definitely be going for this one. Oh, the nade. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. Oh! Quite alive and kicking. Holzerk will have to replicate Glaive's antics towards the back platform. He finds two kills. That will be enough. Flashbang is decent, though. This kill is everything and not meant to be. Complexity will give this round up. Another decent retake from Astralis there, Chad. Has to be said. Glaive doing everything he could. Bulkdown's law coming into full effect with the AWP, and you have to respect him. Yeah, great stuff from him, right? They juggled that all across after the tag. But uh, I'm surprised he gets two kills out of this, right? Because it, all it would have taken was a lick of a flame or a single bullet there. He still gets two kills. So great work from the AWPers, Farley and Glaive in this situation. Config will get the second AWP retained here. So gets another shot at the big green. And he's yet to activate. Remember, we were talking about Astralis on map one. We're like, this is great. Blame's playing well. We've got Config playing well. If this happens, this is a scary team. And well, then Nuke happened. And now we find ourselves here on the third map. Oh, here we go. Watch this. Does he have it? Does yeah. he have it? No, he doesn't have it. <laughs> almost had it. He almost had it. So he's trying to boost himself up on the box, right? Yeah, such a geek level thing that's going on now. Like, I thought that the pixel smokes were ridiculous, but that's just getting out of control. <laughs> Lineups for jumps that are not possible otherwise. Well, here we go. Cole will have to concede. They have uh, a floppy AK-47 with armor as well. But not much else. Glocks, Steagles, Bang with armor as well. But they've been given access towards middle. But Config, that's by design as far as he's concerned. That's the shot he's looking for. Nice clean kill. Expecting the Glock. Hall Zerk will be dropped. And uh, the round coming to his logical conclusion, I dare say. We'll see what happens as we have the Desert Eagles and uh, just that AK. Floppy would have to do something unbelievable. He hasn't say. even had a chance yet, has he? He hasn't even had an opportunity to get stuck in with this AK. And you can see that because he hasn't fired a bullet. Uh, so if you were wondering about just the impact that Floppy's going to have in this one, not a whole lot. Bang. Well, he gets a chance for a fight. Flame will deal with that. Bang's gone down in mid, and it is just the last man standing. Floppy, another kill. But uh, Zip will deal with him. So three players survive. Double orbs continue to be carried across. And now we're tied up 4-4. Nice set up here from Astralis, well held. Never was a moment he thought they could give that one up. Glaive is starting to look better and better. It takes as well. After going down 4-1, to one, they tied things up at 4-4. The double up set up in full effect, and maybe another long take here. JT to lead the charge this time. Probably bounced flash off the door. She opts for the wall instead, and he's parked himself towards the pit. So blind, though, Chad. He will do well to find at least one, but they've actually got two kills towards the position now. They've got full-on control. Farley needs to reposition as he heads back towards the A site. 
What's the reaction here? That's an all-in long. They're going to have to know. see a B push, right? And we have got information in lower. So that's great from Config. They can at least guarantee there's no one towards B. He's just confirming that now, checking out T spawn and indeed the tunnels. You can never be too sure. Someone could be lurking around. So he just wants to guarantee that B is clear. He's actually really sending it around the world. Wave might even push here, right? The fact that Farley isn't seeing a whole lot, Config's called B clear. Maybe they want to try and disrupt this towards long. I think one of the positives, and I've highlighted this in a bunch of rounds where T's have had long control and CT's have had residual utility, is these leftover nades. The reposition of Farley, he gave up the angle, dropped down to a new position, and Halzerk is just going to absolutely whack him in the out of the head there. It's just going to be the flash forward of the fight. There it is. Good flash. It blinds a couple of them, but not quite enough. Moral config now. This is brave. This is ambitious. He'll get the no scope, but uh, that's all he'll get. Three players survive the complexity. Very decent round. The long take it working out nicely there, Chad. This uh, JT tucking tail completely flashed, makes his way all the way towards the pit and uh, managed to get the all important kill. Grim follows things up as well. That was it right there. Nice work. Long take successful. Also confirms it with the kill on the sniper. Curious with the config push. I guess he thought he might get run down from top side or I, uh, not be able to escape. I don't know what he was hoping for there. That's a play that was probably like pretty popular in 2015. Right. It's a Hail Mary, hope for the best, run through a smoke. But in modern Counter-Strike, you want to be seeing the orbs get saved to have another opportunity here because Farley can't buy his own. Config could buy one and drop one, but he also could have saved one or at least attempted to. Well, here we go. If you're just joining us, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second series of the day. The third one has been delayed. At the third and final map, we had a triple overtime affair on the map pick of Astralis on Nuke. Things collapsed for them towards the very end of that one. And now we're in the weeds. As we'll have a partial buy, not even that. I call this an eco. As uh, we see the opening kill, Holzak is doing so much damage to those double doors. It's quite ridiculous at this stage. Early man advantage, Grim to be tested towards the tunnels. Needs to hold on tight. Can't afford to give this one up, and he has. It's Config with a lovely shot on that P250. Hasn't quite got the AK-47 though, but he's being a real nuisance, Floppy. We'll push him back. An advantage once again. Denies the access to the rifle. Flashbang towards the top as well. And we're actually pushing in towards A. So JT leading the charge once again. Happy to throw himself in for the Lion's Den. And it might cost him the round, Chad. It's the AWP that's floundering. They didn't go in together. Oh, that's an amazing shot. The 5-7 at that range is unbelievable. Floppy now, no chance. And that's uh, essentially an eco victory for Astralis. Didn't bring much at all into the round. It's the upper B push, forcing them in towards the A site. And it's just underwhelming towards the end. The 5-7 doing tremendous work, but they were segregated. Didn't necessarily have to force that particular push towards the A site. Yeah, another odd round to add to the tally here for this series. And now the questions have to be asked about complexity. Glaive with the 5-7, showing why it is so popular here, just continuing to strafe and shoot at the same time. But this one here, How's this one here is a beautiful shot. That one is no easy feat by any means. And now down to the pistols, it's complexity's turn. So let's play the game. How many kills here? Might I reckon a round win. I reckon three. Three? Yeah. Okay. It all starts here, though. Did they check the corners? Nope. Can I change my answer? That's the first. Oh, still could be three. Could be. Okay, well, yeah, we'll three for blame is where you were going with that. So, Potentially, uh, yeah, we yeah. can say that. We could just change the words. Six to five now. It's a one-round game here. It's still hard to see who's going to come out on top of this. It, it's, I don't know. Nobody is separating themselves from the pack. Nuke was, not. Nuke was a mess. Inferno was clearly Astralis' territory. Even though it was complexity's pick, and now we're here on Dust 2, just a one round game. So, Orzak not looking down the T spawn position right now, actually sending it towards long. Once again, JT always first man in. Wapi will be dropped. JT will have to make up for it now. The swing will come through. Flashbangs deployed. Can he make anything of it? So, CT's just mauling them with the utility at this stage. HE kills, Molotovs as well, Config on the B push, that's clean as you like. Seven to five here as this first half is coming to a close. We're into round number 13 and the money's still not great on the complexity side. $3,000 per player, they're a four stage loss bonus and uh, another partial buy situation, I would say. Tech Nine's armor, great grenade from Zipex. Bang. Right down his throat. Okay, well, this is the real opportunity for Astralis now. If they can button up, if they can secure the final three rounds consecutively here, they're going to be very happy with that complexity. They want to rumble it, but they will have to concede. 
Xbox Smoke, sure, that'll give them at least a little bit of a buffer room to work with right now. The Flash is screwing vision on both sides of the server as Flame just wants to stand and fight. His opportunity limps out a nade and well, perfectly placed. That had a bit of backspin on it. It absolutely did. Max damage, I would say, towards Floppy as well. Lands Another one. On Get doorstep. Him Get him again. Uh, quite as effective, that one. That's, uh, can they find a kill or two? It all starts with this push here. Part of this is the shot, but Flame. Oh, wow, okay. A chance, a decent incendiary, but a couple of amazing shots. They're really trying to force the issue now. Running through the flames. Harley knows he's got him up. Two more seconds. Oh, this might be good. Oh, oh. A lot of damage being inflicted here. That should do it. Even if he goes down now, he's done his job. And there it is, two on two. Config has got control of the bomb, I believe. Yeah, they got to go back and get this. Config might win the round right here, right now. Oh, That's how unusual. Has he that? How has he missed it? Config known for hitting those type of shots here. Puts all the pressure That's... on the in-game leader. By his standards, yeah. That's an easy one. It's the same with Blame. How did he miss that opening kill as well? Right? And then you True. have the long fight that came into play as... In... This round should never have been in this situation. We said that how many kills can they get? This is how the round started, right? It was what, P250s and Eagles. And uh, right That's now, safe. it's whether Glaive can even save his AK-47. Is he going to give this a go? If he runs out long doors right now, he, he's just going to get smited down. The orb's ready. He doesn't need the save. Okay, I like that. Glaive's had enough. Glaive's had enough. Boys, do I have to do this alone? I'll show you how it's done. I got to lead. I got to shoot. I got to clutch. I got to do everything right now. I just need you guys to get one apiece. Oh, he's going to go for the jump kill. <laughs> he's still got time. He's still got time. There's a kid in play. Fang's going to win the round, deservedly so. I think the complexity much tidier. No around armor. like this. <laughs> That's so insane. And all it took was no utility up towards short. Swap dog with the orb. Let's see if he can strike gold. It's probably just climbing sharp. That AWP will find the opening exchange. And well, Blame's already committed to a fight like this. The smoke will start to subside towards mid. And that means that Config has to either take this fight or drop back. He's hanging around. He's still hanging around. And between the wickets, Oof. Yeah. All right. That certainly makes things a little bit pro. He was going down regardless of two players there, but the fact he gets nothing from it really is an issue. After losing to the full eco in the previous round, uh, they really need to pull their socks up here. Still a chance. Glaive, the in-game leader, has to lead by example here. I think he's got this kill, no problem. Good work. That's Fang and Zipex. He's pushed long, they've they trying know to this is the beat. They should cancel this right now. They, they don't have to commit. Glaive's already here. The tag is good. He's going to get one back. It's Zip. One on two situation. Known for these, I believe. Now, this is one of uh, one of the rounds that should be in his remit. Now, I, I don't think they know where he is. They're mulling towards window. They've used a, a lot of utility right now to make sure he can't come in through window or doors. The timing on this is going to be everything, and JT has just looked away. As the seconds go by, though, he'll get more and more inquisitive. Someone has to check the tunnels eventually. JT will be tasked with that in about three seconds. Oh, the swing surely coming out. There it is. Nice work, and it's another round for complexity. Astralis really starting to fall apart out there. That's going to be two rounds in a row. We go into round number 15, and they do have cash. It's actually pretty decent in that respect, but Fang making light work of them here towards lower B. Convict do nothing about this. The AWP doesn't connect. And JT oh, talks about leading by example. That's a great double frag. Fantastic round. Yeah, great stuff. And uh, the final one here, UMP makes a rare appearance. Yep, yeah. and then MP9, so... I haven't seen a UMP since about 2016. Cobblestone. Exactly. Oh. In a lot of play. Like, this weapon is objectively terrible. So if he makes it work, um, I'm impressed. Maybe he's just signed up for the armor penetration. Maybe that's what he's excited about here. But uh, Stralis, from a half that was in the palm of their hands to be guaranteed to win it to now, a situation where complexity might do exactly that. They are. Boosted up in the formation towards short. Farley, Enough. he's been great on the orb. He's been the beacon of hope for Astralis on yeah. Dust2 here. He's been the best player so far. That's a good point. But can they close it out? Convict seems to think so. Gives it up perhaps, but uh, Zipex will be there to pick up the pieces. Still, a man advantage. Four on three. MP9 maybe the perfect weapon for the job here. Actually finds an AK-47. There's the UMP. Up and it's over. doing uh, God's work out there. Oh. Also, not so much as he does make up for it on the second shot. No HP, and I dare say that HP will take him out of the equation. We split it right to it then, see if we can work it where things are heading. It looks like Astralis are opting for a long take, potentially. We know CT aggression is very prevalent in this meta, and P250, they certainly are as well. Blame F, trying to open things up. Significant damage there towards Long. 
Not so much towards short. Somehow all the players getting away from that interaction, as we'll see them scamper up towards the short position, towards catwalk. I wonder how the bookmakers do it. One expert odds still has Charles is the favorite here. Maybe the pistol round will change that. A goosh into the teammate right there as Farley's dead. It's Blaine backing off his signature move as it's two ready to groove in the cycle. They've got one config dropping down like Spider-Man. It's giving them something to work with here. A situation they might be able to turn on its head. Not much, but something. A glimmer. Bomb, exactly. The bomb is out of their control. They have just a flashbang. I say just. It could be enough in this sort of round. Two CTs waiting on the other side. Make it three now. Torzo joins them from the, the long double doors. They have. Oh, they've given that away. The swing will come through. And now a good chance to get the bomb planted. Glaive. He's actually booking it towards the B-bomb site. He gets a kill here, Chad. Bit of a Benny Hill situation here. He might be able to make his way back up short if he really wants. Glaive, I've seen you do crazy things from this position before. I should have maybe just ran for the bomb. I'm not sure, but there's the first. All right, I take it all back. He has a chance to win it now. Yeah, and now they're strung out. Look at this. Not not attached at the hip at all. Floppy is quite far away from Halzer here. Pick that up. I still toggle there from I JD. need it now. Yeah, and there's a flash available. Just flash and go. Send Halzer hit. There's the flash. There's the go. He needs to hit this fight. It's Glaive. He's battling for his life. Five HP and will be finished off. It is a close round, all things considered. But 8-8. Eight, eight. That was wild. A bit of a problem giving up the bomb there, but it wasn't planted. They didn't lose the round. So, as we say, chat, no harm, no foul, I believe. And uh, this is where it all began. Floppy tested towards long, but uh, he rose to the occasion. And uh, a little bit of a spam there towards the car. Combi gets dropped. Nice idea from Glade. Might as well yeah. try and make something of it. Uh, if he got the bomb planted, maybe a one-on-one, -on -one, that would have been fantastic. But it will be the full eco instead. We're all tied up. Eight to eight. And uh, just the Glocks and a couple of P250s for Astralis. And... Astralis gave up a couple of these rounds in the first half, so I'm sure they'll be inquisitive at least to see what kind of damage they can do here. This is the scariest type of round I think we have at the moment in the server between Apparently, us. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll see if the conversion can come through. An important one for complexity here. Tunneling down the middle corridor and up the catwalk they go into JT's domain. He'll be flashed, he'll be fighting, and he'll be dropping. Halzerk now with the... Here we go. We're off bad M4, I think we should just call it. He's uh, trying to at least give it a bit of shine here. He'll get two. It's, it's not bad, it's just, it's just different. You know? <laughs> oh, come on! It's just different. You've got 30 bullets of doom there. More ammo. What more could you ask for? Can't spam through smokes. You, you could, you might die. <laughs> you can't conceal spam through smokes, and sure. you get located by audio immediately. It's certainly situational. But, uh, it's more expensive. More ex that's okay. That is something I can't argue with. Like that, That's a difficult one to uh, rebuttal, I'll be honest. But uh, here we go then. How many of them they got? Just the one. So uh, MP9 for mass and a bit of aggression towards short here. Beef here. Nice smokes. I like that. Oh, he just jumped straight through. Uh, oh. Fang. Fang, he's, he's, he's behind you, Fang. Uh, Anyone know what's going on? He's, he's on the other side of the smoke wall. Oh, he's already Fang. got up towards Fang, He's going A. What's going on right now? Picked up his oh, what is happening? <laughs> I don't know. I've lost track of the round. Farley's on the A side. His teammates are dropped outside the long doors. So they found a gap, but it's, it's open. useless. Farley's yeah, at A and B's open. Glaive has gone back towards T-Spawn. Both sides are open. The round is reversed. They're leaving T-Spawn down suicide. <laughs> Four of them are running down mid at a minute 13. I don't 13. know what's happening. I don't think they do either. They're retaking short. Well, I'm losing my mind. Finally, there'll be a kill and a really sloppy spray from JT. He'll yield another kill here. They can't connect the dots here towards the B bomb site, so it's open. As you mentioned, I like this from Config. Suggesting he's in the bomb site, but he's in front of the smoke. Still the man advances of complexity, but I'm not sure they deserve it. We'll see what happens. This is rough as you like. Config, what, what are you, what, where are you headed? Your teammates on nine. Nine points of health. He's playing for the clutch. He's playing for the win. He's hoping that Glaive can buy enough time. You can see the plant there. It's elevated, but now he hasn't been able to make the kill. It's just Glaive. Just get this kill and get on the defuse. Oh, they, can they can stick it. He's going to be able to be safe behind the wall. There's no way the Config can contribute to here. He should be stunned. He should be stunted, and he will be. What a round. That has to be the craziest <laughs> round of Counter-Strike in all my years. Ever. Like, there's been some crazy... But think about that. There was Dude, four was CTs at a minute 15 on the clock running down suicide. I, I've never seen anything like it. Like, how did they even get away with this with two kills? They didn't even look for the kills. And Config missing that as well. It's not looking like top tier CS, I'll say that much. It's, no, that's, uh, that is true. It might sound harsh to people, but that's the truth of this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna try and put lipstick on a pig. This series has been, it's been something. Well, 
It's just going to be Tech Nines, P250s, and uh, Al Glaive and Co. Packing. They're going to focus their efforts towards shorts. What a series this has been. Coming to a dramatic finish, I'm sure. We're just getting warmed up here, Chad. Yeah, Group C just getting started. Yeah. Day one has been electric. Good grenade. A lot of damage inflicted there. That one really stings. Astralis haven't forced up into this round. Just a partial buy. Assessing their options. What's available to them? Right now, the A site's quite open. <laughs> they could actually just walk up short here. Yeah. Almost completely goose. undetected. All right, Halzerk. Come on. Give us your chance to give us a show. We need it to be clean. We need it to be mean. Let's go Berserk on the Halzerk. He's only managed to stall out one. They're going to plant the bomb. There was so much damage done with you two, and they still get to plant the bomb. They could still win this. It's uh, a three on three. Kit's available short, but not really too much utility left. They've got a single incendiary on the CT side. That's deployed towards short. That's a big kill, though. Zipex looking for another. Not going to happen. Glaive without a weapon. Bomb planted in his position, but it would take something very special indeed at range with 23 points of health, and he knows he might just be backing out of this one. Gentlemen. Almost zero chance. They're overcooking the pooch for a second there. The yeah. is going to come in. <laughs> They're going to get themselves up to 11 here. Plant's great, though. You take the plant every day of the week. Look at how much money they have to work with. I think they have to turn to Farley again. He's been good on the AWP on the CT side. See what he can pull off here. Look, this is a... Look, as I mentioned, I where the world rankings are right now, I don't buy it. I don't buy that Astralis are the fourth best team in the world. I struggle to put them in my top 10. But regardless, that's where the rankings are at right now. And Complexity are nowhere near that. If Complexity pull up an upset victory against Astralis in the opening day of play, Heroic have already gone down 2-0 to Maus. And we haven't even seen Ents play with a new roster against Heat coming up next. This French team that wants to get stuck in and make the world pay attention. This group is going to be crazy. Well, it's a good start there. Also towards lower B does hit the thigh of Glaive. And they've actually got some decent control towards Long as well. Significant damage inflicted towards JT. He'll fall back towards CT Spawn. Here's the hinge smoke from Farley. See if he nails it. We've had a couple of missed ones today. Has to be set. Yeah, it's been a weird day for CS, hasn't it? It has been. Well, the dust to heroic pick was... Yeah. That's a, we already knew we were starting off in a crazy way. I've enjoyed it, though. I like the, the scrappiness of these games. Molotov out to ensure the double doors are clear. Floppy will wait by the blue bin, however. And there's a swing from Grim. Always finding himself in hot water, but uh, responds in due course, fighting fire with fire, and Floppy has no response. A little bit of damage inflicted there, but it's the man advantage, though. They need this kill. They really need this kill. The pressure's going to be coming from long. That's a great find there. Config lurking towards lower is the next real issue here. There's still plenty of time on the clock to reposition and pivot, but if JT finds Config now, if he gets him in the fade, if he gets him up and over, it's going to be a number disadvantage that they'll have to stomach here. Fortunately, went for a quick ascent. The fade only happening just now, and it's Zipex. He's going to grant his head. JT would have to flick up. He spotted it. He's seen it. Does he expect another to come past? I don't know if the information went both ways, but finally we'll get the better of him. Scrappy onto the spam, but Halzerk goes down, and OCT's here. They're turning this one on its head. 20 seconds left. They're going to commit into the site. Grim's dead, and so is Fang, so handled. Back in the winning ways are Astralis. A good round. And money is looking desperate on the CT side of things as well, averaging around $2,000 per player. Less in some cases as well. And uh, Astrala should be able to tie things up with this situation. We'll see whether Complexity want to force into it. Have a look at the... Should take a timeout at least. Just to right. chat. Yeah. Just, to, just to slow the roll. Simmer off a little bit. Yeah, it's very unlikely they buy here. And I can confirm they haven't. Floppy's just been tagged on the cross of the doors. We've got Glaive the Orpa now. We've already seen how this one goes before. <laughs> Glaive the Orpa. to get up here. So uh, there's a leak in this boat. And no, 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 uh, we're starting like to flood. Yeah, like There's a bit like of a it. flood coming, boys. It's getting on, out of control on, right now. Get on. your buckets. <laughs> uh, keep our head above we'll take water. It on water. Oh, <laughs> dearie me. <laughs> that one almost fell apart. If they recovered a couple of rifles there and allowed to settle down, that could have got well out of control. But full USP <laughs> round. <laughs> Farley's having fun. He's loving it. I don't I'm know why. He's having His fun. teammates certainly are. They look stressed as you like. But um, it's a five-man B push. All... The players from Astralis on this side it's of the map. Coming quick. Here comes the flop. Can he be stopped? It's Fang to take first contact. It's a great first contact. It's going to be the first kill in his favor. And here comes Floppy. He's looking very comfortable here, Chad. Nothing to be said. Farley will have to fall back. And there we have it. 
Another round of complexity. Oh, we might get caught off guard here. Poor Farley. Just going to go down to Grim on that fast flank up to 19 kills. Now Grim having a bit of a game. 17 for Halzerk, 15 apiece for the Fs, Floppy and Fang. And JT on 10 on the other side of things. Well, Farley, he knows he can go into watching the VOD review knowing he did his job on the CT side. 18 kills to his name. 16 for Glaive, 15 for Blame, 14 for Zip and Config on 13 kills in total. Solid B defense. Didn't love the call from the T side. You don't see many of those these days, but uh, they are taken down there. Very clean and concise. And complexity back on their feet now. A lot of A couple of players go towards Lois. That's key information, at least. Doesn't get now. That's perfect. So actually, that is bad information now because I imagine Blame is going to be extremely stalled out while looking for this info. Yeah, he's so, still watching it. Yeah, this is actually going to buy probably about 20 seconds off the clock here. The hinge smoke will be coming, so by the time this gets deployed, then they will start working on space. Blame is still watching that angle. So you're dead on there. Bad intel, almost. Team flash as well, so they're not even certain that lower dark is... Now, now they are, but in the interim, that's a pick towards long. And towards B, I believe. That's Sorry. Glaive going down as well. That's a great effort from Fang. Who was it was that? towards was that B. Or was it towards there? Yeah, he oh, must it was. How does he get that? I have no idea. Because there out. was a hinge smoke up. True. Well, that's on the timing. <laughs> like, that is, that is a ridiculous kill to get. Okay, well, it's a massive advantage here. The money's running low on Astralis. 50 seconds remaining. Farley will have to do all the heavy lifting here. Looking towards window, it's a decent position. It'd be up to Floppy to give this kill away. Drops down. Good choice. Looking for somewhat of a B split here, I suppose. Config, blame F, making the way towards tunnels. Floppy doing everything he can to push them back here if possible. He has no utility. I need a rotator, though. It's just the two of them on the site, and the fight's coming. All Zerk is there from the crossover, I suppose, but yeah, you're absolutely dead on. There it is. Marley's confirmed there's probably only two in there. They need to get at least one kill. This could still fall apart, and Floppy caught off guard here. Bang. In a treacherous position, but rises to the occasion, and they take care of business there. Four versus one. Farley will have to give in and make his way towards T-spawn. There's only five seconds remaining. Do you try and hunt him down? It's a good flashbang. He'll fire off one shot and probably get it, but the rifle presumably takes oh. him down, and there we have it after time as well. 200 bucks. That 200 is brutal. Bucks. Yes, and 13-10, Chad. At this point of the game here as well, this is the pick that Halzak finds in the opening, and then immediately after the spam kill came through, he okay, just had you're a right. blind spam. Yep. And that is quite ridiculous there from Fang. Really good find from him, and then it's Floppy and Fang locking down this B-bomb site together. Well, well. Here you go, Farley. It's like, I'll <laughs> be getting a sock. They're out long. Got the space. JT under a lot of pressure here. He was taking this side of the map on his lonesome. Grim's already initiated up mid, and we'll have to backpedal with that pressure that's come through. But here's the biggest problem for Astralis. To take that long control, they're left with no utility. A flash, a molly, and a smoke. No smokes for the cross. That is a problem. Oh, there's a freebie available. Fang can't believe his luck towards these mid doors. And I dare say Holzok almost went down there as well. Here he comes, though. The shooting gallery has been set up. Take your shot, see what you can find, and he's hitting them all. 5-7 through the smoke, and that's a nice shot from Config, but I think it's all for not. This was a full buy, Chad. If he gets one more kill, I guess that's something. We go 14 to 10, maximum loss bonus with no plan going down. This could be it. This could be absolutely it. I'll have to take another partial buy, presumably getting a series point on the complexity side at 15 to 10, and they'd need a perfect series of events after that. Who knew, who, who knew Henry? All you need to do is replace your Orpa to beat Astralis. That's all you had to do. That's all you had to do. No, but they, they have been looking good, right? They've got plenty of ideas. I, I think one of the keys with the complexity is, as well as, like, they, they always seem to have a plan of some yeah. variety. Even though a lot of these rounds have been crazy, uh, there's been a, a lot of low buy rounds that have, have netted a lot of kills. There's been, yeah. It's been an odd game of Counter Strike, that's for sure. Objective based Counter Strike for complexity. I think you're dead on there. They always seem like they have something to bring to the table. And, uh, oh my God, once again. JT, he'll surely go down. He's fully blind, but Glaive will bring it back to a four and four. Config desperately low on 10 points of health. They've only got pistols and scouts, as mentioned, but now they've got an M4. That certainly boosts the chances. Blame has armor too. Oh, you're right, yeah. Didn't see that. So uh, we'll have to step up. Blame currently on 15 kills, 18 deaths. Hasn't been his best performance, but towards B we go. Trying to test the double F combo once again. Floppy and Fang, and they've been 
Nothing short of stellar, to be honest with you. All right, well, you can't stop the flop, and this one's about to drop over towards the B bomb site here. They're just going to have to peer on forward. They smoke short towards the door, but flop has segregated them, and now they run into the den, the fang. Deep incision right there, and Sophie is just going to handle this. It is going to be zip the scout, sure. But he's tucked in tight. Bang will secure that, and this B bomb site is on lock. 15 to 10, one more round. TC loving it. The smile is going to be from ear to ear. <laughs> They're all loving it. It's infectious. I'm smiling as well now chad it's a beautiful day to be a complexity fan they've got five opportunities now to take down the fourth best team in the world apparently <laughs> i didn't i couldn't believe when you said that they're fourth right just four. at the moment the rankings are skewed because out of the break we've only had group stages yeah, i guess that makes which sense. is a bit of an issue Fair enough. Uh, so things are a bit inflated for some teams at the moment this will bring them back down to earth as yeah for sure the last chance saloon for astralis now a great start on inferno a wasted opportunity on Nuke, and now a comeback required here on Dust2. If ever there was a, a team, an organization that could uh, bring together a comeback, this would probably be it, but uh, we'll see what they can do with it. Good Lord. They have got the full bite, and it will be the first kill for Glaive. Fang getting a taste of his own medicine, and boy, is it bitter. Oh, this is going to put a lot more pressure over towards this B site, and for once, it's not floppy there. It's actually going to be JT, so... The setup looking a little bit different. JT needs to make sure he stays alive. The worst thing he could possibly do is stomach a death as Halzerk coming back. He's going to walk into the scope. And Farley has been great on the AWP. Halzerk down. Now they know it's going to be likely one player towards B. That AWP removed, two players towards A. They're still going to start running out short here, looking for what they can find. And that's Farley. That's secured the B site. They, they need to pivot back now. I'm sort of believing it's in Grim. Floppy's still alive. Uh, uh, Grim's here towards Goose. He's going to get cleared. Oh. Now it's floppy in a one on five, so a lifeline for Astralis here. Clean round, they needed it. And uh, a lot more where that came from as well, to say the very least. They now will require four rounds going forward. Money should be very decent there. So we've got Holzerk with $8,000. Same story for Grim as well. Floppy of the AK 47, if you can save that, they're in good stead to purchase up at the round of a 27. But it has to be said, nice round from Astralis. But uh, so much work to be done here, and zero mistakes allowed from now on. I know that Fang's found a couple of gimmies either on timings or through the smoke himself, but yep. the, the fact that Glaive gets one back, I think that just means for the CT side, let's not go for those type of audacious sure. plays around mid because we did just give away a couple of opening picks there, all for naught. But here's a thought process. With four rounds left, right, you, you're going to get at least one more full gun round here. Maybe, maybe two. At some point, an aggressive maneuver may be required. So do you want to do it now while you have all the bells and whistles? You know, it depends on the spawns. It's going to depend on all the perch. Or do you do a default round and hope you can close it and then save the bogeys for a little bit later? It's the worst feeling as an in-game leader when you're at this point as well and such a massive game for the team, the yeah. organization. This is huge. An all showing here at EPL. And, uh, yeah, do you want to play on the front foot or the back? JT taking matters into his own hands, getting a great grenade down towards lower B. And uh, Zipex just fending him off towards long. Convict smoked off. Oh, feeling the heat here over towards the B side. So they will stall them out for now, but they've actually used a decent share of Floppy's utility over towards the second letter of the alphabet. JT also started with the aggressive stance off of the boost, but is now repositioning here, and we just spoke about having to be quite careful. He's actually lobbed out his own mid-door smoke here, so this one it, it was with intention. I think he's hoping to find a jump up on towards the Xbox here. We've already seen Fangs find success. Is JT going to be able to do the same? Glaive has to be aware of these type of maneuvers. They've re-smoked the door, so this is all just trying to look for this one pick, and Glaive thinks better of it this time round. It's yeah, a good right. heads-up choice here. Oh, it's coming down to the finer details. Well explained, Chad. And uh, in terms of Astralis' map control, not much to speak of. They haven't got short control all long. Trying to get information towards middle, but uh, time is of the essence now. 40 seconds remaining. Blame made a decision to start probing towards short, and then indeed his teammates were joining. They still have smokes, flashes, molotovs, and in two CTs remaining on the A ramp. Well, this is Halzerk's time in the sun. This is his time to shine right here. They're going to be executing on towards A. The Orpa alongside of Fang to deal with this. This is for the game. Good grenades. Fang joining him, and you're right. This is the moment now. Can he rise to the occasion? Needs a couple of kills if the first bullet doesn't connect. Second is beautiful, though. Five on four. Series point for complexity. Grim chimes in as well. Five on three. A couple more kills will do it. And call it done. Complexity with a reverse sweep.